What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Fish Like B, man. And I'm back with another video for y'all, man. And in today's video, we do have one of the last colors of this best Jordans 1 through 14. And as y'all do know, normally I do have the LED lights and other things like that associated with the video but in today's video is a little bit different as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail because we are doing the color black but i would definitely have to say this will be one of the last colors if y'all don't comment down below because i don't really know well i mean y'all are enjoying these videos because y'all have been treating them well but i just i'm running out of colors so yeah i would appreciate if y'all would comment some other colors down if y'all want me to keep going with this series but without further ado, man, if you are new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and hit the bell when you're done. So you never miss a great upload just like this one. And without further ado, man, let's go ahead and move straight into the video, man. Let's go. Our YouTube, so moving straight into this video, man. If you are new, I'm basically just going to be going over the year of the shoe, the retail price of the shoe, and I also will be going over what the shoe is going for now on the market. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. If you haven't already, like I said, like the video, man. One like doesn't hurt. And also, if you feel the need to dislike the video, man, it will let me know whether you like it or dislike it, man. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and move straight into the first shoe, man. Let's right, YouTube. So moving straight into the first shoe, I would definitely have to say it would be the Jordan 1 Retro High 85 Black and White. And this shoe came out in 2023. It retailed for around $200. And right about now, it is $38 more than the retail market value, and that would be $238. So I would definitely have to say it's a pretty nice shoe. It's a pretty classic shoe and an OG type of colorway, I feel like, because you can't really go wrong with black and white. And I would definitely have to say that just looking at this shoe, it is a pretty classic Jordan 1. As y'all know, Jordan 1s are pretty classic. They are pretty styly. And other things like, is styly? Styly or stylish? Stylish. That's the word stylish so i would definitely have to say that this would be one of the you know one of the best jordan ones i would have to say on the market right now just because of how classic it is and just because of how good the colorway is and you can't really go wrong with it so yeah without further ado man let's go and move straight into the second shoe man. all right so getting started to the second shoe man it would definitely have to be the jordan 2 retro black chrome and this shoe came out of 2004 i think this shoe retailed for around 190 dollars and now the shoe is going for around $150, so $40 below retail pricing. But I would definitely have to say this is one of the nicer shoes that came out in the 2000s. And I would have definitely, if I was born, you know, before the 2000s and I had a chance to wear this shoe, I would definitely say I would have worn this shoe back then because it just it's a pretty classic shoe. And like I always say, you can't really go wrong with black. And I really love black. As y'all know, I always wear a black tee or just something black. So I would definitely have to say that it's a very good color and you really can't go wrong with it. And this is one of my favorite Jordan 2s right here just because of how classic it is. And just because, you know, the color of the shoe is black, man. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and move straight into the third shoe, man. Let's go. All right, YouTube. So moving straight into the third shoe, I would definitely have to say it would be the Jordan 3 Black Cats that retail for around $125, if I'm not mistaken. The release date was 2007, and now the shoe is going for around $704, which is crazy, but not that crazy because a lot of the Black Cat shoes are high in value now because of the Black Cat colorway. I know that that's become a really popular colorway uh, on the 4s, the 13s, and other things just like that. So I would definitely have to say anytime Nike, Jordan, anybody drops a Black Cat colorway, specifically Jordan, I would definitely say that this shoe is always pretty hyped and you'll always see somebody with this shoe on but not a lot of people because this shoe most of the time is very expensive but i would definitely have to say i really do enjoy this jordan 3 black colorway as y'all see it does kind of have a cement colorway also on it too but i would definitely have to say this is one of the nicest jordan 3s and i would personally wear this three y'all know i don't wear threes like that but i would definitely say this three does catch my eye and i will wear it man so without further ado man let's go ahead and move straight into the fourth shoe man. all right YouTube, so moving straight into the fourth shoe man i would definitely have to say it would be the jordan 4 black cat and it came out in 2020 and this shoe retailed for around 190 dollars and personally this is my favorite shoe i guarantee you i wear this shoe every day this shoe now is going for around $889. Luckily, I did not get the shoe for that. And 
I probably, even if I could resell this shoe, I wouldn't just because I love this shoe so much. And this is definitely my favorite pair of Jordan 4s. I wear this shoe every day. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I mean, it probably doesn't look that beat because I don't, you know, I take care of my shoes. But I would definitely say this is one of my favorite Jordan 4s. If not, you know what? It is my favorite. And this is the shoe I wear on a day-to-day -day basis every day. So I would definitely say it's a pretty comfortable shoe. It's good for walking and things like that. If y'all were thinking that, so, cause I know a lot of people say fours hurt their feet, but personally this shoe is super comfortable. And yeah, I really am in love with this shoe, man. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and move straight into the fifth shoe. Man. So moving straight into the fifth shoe, man, it would definitely have to be the Jordan 5 Retro Moonlight that came out in 2021, retail for $190. And now the shoe is going for around $233. I would definitely have to say this is one of the nicest Jordan 5s I have seen, other than, you know, the grapes and the organs and, you know, the all over colorways that I really do love. But I would definitely have to say this is one of the classic Jordan 5s. And I would reason, the reason I would say it's a classic Jordan 5 is because, you know, the black and white colorway, I feel like that's really just a classic colorway on any Jordan. And personally, I feel like it's kind of an OG colorway because you've seen it introduced in, you know, the 2000s and things like that. So I would definitely have to say this shoe is pretty nice. Personally, I would wear this Jordan 5, but I wouldn't, you know, do too much with it. I'd probably just throw on a simple little outfit with it, man. But without further ado, man, let's go ahead and move straight into the 6 shoe, man. Let's start to move it straight into the 6 shoe or sneaker, man. It would be the Jordan 6 Retro Chrome Metallic Silver. This shoe came out in 2022. It retailed for around $200. And now the shoe is going for around $248. But I would definitely have to say it is a pretty good, you know, increase in market value. I know they probably would want it to do a little bit better. But, I mean, $50 profit, you know, than what you released it for. For retail, I would definitely have to say that's a pretty good amount of profit, personally. But if you are just looking at this shoe, I would definitely have to say I love the chrome. Well, it's not even chrome. Well, actually, you know what? The Jordan logo is chrome, but y'all always know I love and vouch for the clear gum bottom on a lot of these shoes, especially like sixes and fives and things like that. But I would definitely have to say that this shoe is one of my favorite sixes. And y'all know I normally don't like sixes because of the weight. But I would definitely, you know, probably risk my ankles a couple of times for this shoe. Just because of how nice this shoe is, man. But without further ado, man, let's go ahead and move straight into the seventh shoe, man. Let's go. Our YouTube. So moving straight into the seventh shoe or seventh sneaker in this video, I would definitely have to say it would be the Jordan 7 Retro Cram. It's like Chamberry or something like that. I'll pop up the name on the screen. But this shoe did come out in 2006. It retailed for around $135. And now the shoe is going for around $200. $24 if I'm not mistaken yeah $24 but I would definitely have to say this is one of the nicest Jordans that I've seen personally out of doing this series like totally y'all know I've been hating on Jordan 7's ever since the start of this series but I would definitely have to say this is one of my favorite Jordan 7's right here and personally if I just had to wear a Jordan 7 this would be it but y'all know I always say Jordan 7 is the full locker shoe I've been saying that since the first video of this series but I would definitely say if I just had to wear Jordan 7, this would be the Jordan 7 I would probably wear out of all of the Jordan 7s I've ever went over. But yeah, man, without further ado, man, let's go and move straight into the 8th shoe, man. Let's go. Right, YouTube. So moving straight into the 8th shoe, it would be the Jordan 8 Retro Chrome, which came out in 2015, retail for $190, and is now going for around $350. But I would definitely have to say this is a pretty nice Jordan 8. Mention it is a black shoe with the side being chrome, which is why it's called the Chrome 8. But I would definitely have to say it's a pretty nice shoe. It's a decent shoe. But normally you see eights, like I said, in Foot Locker. So I don't really wear eights like that. But y'all know there are a couple of eights out there that I will wear. Like the Aquas and other things like that. But I would definitely have to say this is a pretty nice Jordan 8. Personally, I will wear it just because it is an all-black shoe. And it would be easy to throw something on with it. But this has been, you know, the Jordan 8. There's nothing really too much to say about it. And without further ado, man, let's go to move straight into the ninth shoe, man. Let's go. All right, YouTube. So getting straight into the ninth sneaker, it would definitely have to be the Jordan 9 Retro Bread Patent. And this shoe came out in 2018. It retailed for $190 and is now going for $385. I would definitely have to say this is a pretty nice shoe. Personally, I would probably wear it. Y'all know I don't like nines, but I would probably wear this shoe just because it is a simple shoe. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I wear this shoe actually just because I don't know what, like Jordan nines are like a, a boot, bro. Like I don't, I don't really like the way nines are made. So like, 
I just don't know if I wear this shoe. But I would definitely have to say, if y'all like Nas, this is a fire colorway. And I definitely recommend y'all going and looking at this shoe if y'all like Nas. But yeah, there's not really too much to say about the shoe other than it's an all black shoe. Pretty nice colorway with the red highlights over it to contrast things. But yeah, without further ado, man, let's go and move straight into the Tim shoe, man. How are you, too? So getting straight into the Tim shoe and one of my favorite Jordan 10s, it would definitely have to be the Jordan 10 Retro Shadow, which came out in 2018. It retailed for 190 and is now going for 500. And personally, if I'm able to get my hair, my hand on a pair of these Jordan 10s, I'm definitely going to do it. Y'all know I don't really wear high number of Jordans unless it's like 11s, 12s, and 13s. But I would definitely have to say this would be a Jordan 10 I would wear just because it's a pretty simple Jordan 10, you know. And personally, I like the suede look that the gray gives off. And, you know, this is a black shoe series and I feel like it had enough black on it. That's why I included it in here. But I really do like the way that this Jordan 10 is made, being that it does have gray around the shoe and on the bottom of the shoe. It kind of just gives off that contrasty look. But I would definitely have to say this is one of the nicer Jordan 10s that I've spoke about in my series. And without further ado, man, let's go and move straight into the 11 shoe. Man. Let's go. So, so moving straight into the 11 shoe, it would definitely have to be the Jordan 11 retro cap and gown, which is my favorite Jordan 11. And if y'all would want to see me do a review on this shoe, I know this shoe came out like four or five years ago. But I would definitely have to say that this is one of the nicest shoes like that Jordan has released 11 wise and I definitely are I'm in love with this shoe and I really just I wear this shoe every other time I get a chance to I recently did take pictures in this shoe if y'all want to go see those go check out the social medias specifically Instagram but yeah I would have to say the suede on the side of the shoe and then y'all know we have this kind of like dark bluish gum bottom right here this is a pretty nice shoe and y'all know I always love this thing right here i forget what this material is called i just lost it when i thought about it but yeah i would definitely have to say on all jordan 11s i love this material i still can't think of the name of it but yeah i love this shoe this is one of my favorite jordan 11s actually it is my favorite jordan 11 and i would definitely have to say this is you know a pretty simple and nice shoe and without further ado man let's go and move straight into the 12 are you too so moving straight into the jordan 12 it would definitely have to be the jordan 12 retro winter black which came out in 2018 along with the cap and gowns i know i forgot to mention that uh the retail price for this shoe was 200 and now it's 301 as of today's date and i would definitely have to say this is a nice jordan 12 personally i would wear it just because it is an all black shoe and i wouldn't have any trouble throwing on an outfit with an all black shoe if you have trouble throwing on an outfit with black i just i don't know what to tell you black is a really good color to throw on any type of outfit but i would definitely have to say that this is a nice jordan 12 just to like vibe with you know what i'm saying like you can just throw on a chill outfit with it probably some shorts or something like that and just go about your day but i would definitely have to say this is one of my favorite jordan 12s up there with like you know uh i forget what those university 12s are called but they're yellow i just went over them like two videos or last video one of those but i would definitely have to say this is one of my favorite jordan 12s and yeah man it's nothing really else to say about this shoe and without further ado man let's go to move straight into the 13 shoe man let's go so moving straight into the 13 shoe it would definitely have to be the jordan 13 retro black cat which came out in 2017 retail for 190 and is now going for around 621 dollars i would definitely have to say this is the nicest pair of jordan 13s on the market right now no ifs or buts about it i know y'all are gonna be like oh well what about the court purples the universities and all those other shoes but i would definitely have to say this is the nicest shoe on the 13 market right now and the reason i say that is just look at the design man it's an all black shoe you can't go wrong with it you got that glossy finish just like the black cats and you also got the glossy finish just like the 11s right here so i would definitely have to say that that is a reason i love this shoe so much and i'm in love with it and i will be getting this shoe very soon but for right now y'all know i don't have this shoe right now but if y'all do want a shoe collection also let me know if y'all want to see that too but i would definitely have to say this is one of the nicest 13s on the market there's nothing really too much else to say about it and without further ado man let's go and move straight into the 14th and final shoe are you too so moving straight into the jordan 14 man in the last sneaker of this video it would be the jordan 14 retro indie glow and this shoe came out in 2016 it retailed for around 190 and now it's going for around 220 dollars i would definitely have to say this is it's a pretty decent 14 i don't really like this style of 14 right here uh i normally try to stay away from this style just because like 
the 14, it's a, I feel like certain colorways look good. Like you got the yellow colorway that I went over two videos ago. And then you got another colorway that I probably will go over if y'all comment that color down below. But I would definitely have to say this is just a, it's a chill shoe. But at the same time, I don't like it because of the green logo. But I mean, you know, I do like Jordan 14s. Don't get me wrong. I just don't like this shoe. But yeah, man. This has been the 14th and final sneaker of this video. I would definitely have to say if y'all are enjoying this series or if you are seeing any other videos or this one, I would definitely have to say, man, go ahead and lock in and subscribe, man, because I am posting videos for like 20 more days daily, and then I'll probably go back to a normal schedule. But I mean, I make you daily upload, and it depends on how videos keep going. But I would definitely have to say, man, if you are new to this channel and you haven't already, and hey, even if you're not new and you haven't, just go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and hit the bell when you're done. So you never miss another great upload just like this one, man. And without further ado, man, it's being boy, Fitzlay B, man. And I'm out, man. Peace.